Hallo, hallo, liebe Leute, ich bin auch Kommissar in Zimmer und Zimmer Socks, Let's Plays und Crazy Dog Videos. Ja, heute geht's wieder weiter mit Killer Frequency. Hat mir zuletzt, wie man am Ladeding sieht, am automatischen und hier beim abgespeicherten, am 7. September hatten wir zuletzt gespielt. Fast zwei Wochen her, leider. Es wird auf jeden Fall noch ein Update kommen, ähm, ja, es wird auf jeden Fall noch ein Update kommen. Warum, weshalb, was nichts kommt und so. Es gibt zwar auch bei einer Sache, wo man sagen kann, dass es, äh, dass es gab zwei, drei Tage oder auch so auch mal gab, wo es äh, gerade keinen Bock hatte, was aufzunehmen. Aber ansonsten waren dann Tage gewesen, wo es eine Spot hatte. Aber den Rest erzähle ich in einem Update. Also. Wir machen da weiter, wo wir aufgehört haben. Let's go. <lacht> jo, Ponty. Let's go, Ponty. So. <lacht> Let's go. Evening, Caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of... Ponty's Pizza. Ähm, okay. Hallo, Brian Ponty von Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great deals I'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. M, 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 M. Oh, man. Yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For, for, Peggy, hang up on him. Alter. Done. <laughs> oh, real quick, before I forget, It's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Jo, das weiß ich noch. Sure. Okay, ähm. Meister Robby, aha. Grilling Spree Werbung. Das hier ist Ende fest, okay. Und das hier? Hallo. Time to play a commercial. Ja, ich will kurz gucken, was das ist. Teddy Gallows Junior. Werbung für die Wahl. Teddy zum Bürgermeister. Was Bürgermeister? Da fehlt ein R. Da fehlt ein R. Okay, dann. Ja, Meister Robby, ne? Grab a cassette. We need to play a commercial. Jo. Done. <lacht> Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only 
Then, step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. <laughs> you will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator, the discipline of the tarantula, the speed of the tuna, the poise of the scorpion, and the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. <laughs> oh, my. Never forget the element of surprise! If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes, the Tornado Technique and Karate Love Me. What? Call today! Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. <laughs> uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Wow, what a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. You, Gleich. Erstmal Kassette wieder rein. So. Ja, gut. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Hey, Big Shot, hit the button and take the call. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and. Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Ähm, ja. Polizei äh, ist gerade nicht verfügbar. I am 911. Uh, at least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Ähm, wir sind live, live auf, auf Sendung. Live auf Sendung. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's <laughs> eye. Oh, okay. When Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Ja, schön, aber er ist wieder da. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Wenn sie raus, kommen sie gegen den Pfeifer an. Hm. Fragen wir mal das. Think you might be up for fighting the whistling man? Son, I am 55 years old. Ooh. If this okay. freak killed Sheriff Matthews, <laughs> I don't like my chances. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, 
I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Was den Killer weglocken und verschaffen und verschaffen Maurice Zeit und sichern uns ein exklusiv Interview mit dem Killer. By Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God, I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Um, hört sich noch ein Faxgerät an? You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Woher könnte unsere Nummer, Faxnummer, wo ist das Faxgerät? Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay, das heißt, wir gehen jetzt zum... F okay, go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Jo, dann gehen wir halt noch mal zum Faxgerät, ne? Das gute Faxgerät. Oh, Jesus. This must be it. Yep. Okay. So. Ja, gut. Dann haben wir schon mal das Faxgerät hier. Und gehen wieder rein. Ah, schon verrückt, dass die Türen überhaupt scheinbar alle immer automatisch zugehen. Man muss die nicht unbedingt selber zumachen, die gehen automatisch zu. Okay, Faxgerät. Faxgerät. Der Plan. Kann man aber natürlich näher betrachten. Ups. Äh... Wie kann man das noch mal näher betrachten? Ah ja, mit E. Habe ich wieder vergessen. Okay, ähm. Gut, gut, gut. Okay. Dann würde ich sagen, let's go. Hey, did you get the fax? Ja, zum Glück. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Okay. Er ist also im Konferenzraum und das heißt Er ist im Konferenzraum, der Mr. Russell oder Maurice. Ähm 
Bei der Nummer 3 ist Redakt Redak Redakteursbüro, okay? Dann vielleicht da, oder? Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Ich würde sagen, Office Base. Office Base. Das ist das nix. Da steht nix. Man kann aber auch sagen Archiv. Sagen wir mal Archiv. You're moving to the archives. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Okay, let's go. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. He said what? It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. Okay. I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now, what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I gotta give you credit for that. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I, I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly, or quietly. Hmm. Vielleicht totstellen, oder können sie ihn einsperren? What if you played dead? Maybe the killer would walk off and you could get out after him. Nash! He knows I'm not dead! That's the whole reason he's here! To kill me! Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait, no. No, no, no. I got it. Us. The secret archive through my office, where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Welcher Zeitpunkt, Perry? Magst du Verschwörung, Perry? Machen wir das. Ah, I didn't know you were into conspiracies, Peggy. I may have borrowed a few tapes from our manager's office. He has quite the collection. Will you two chatterboxes pipe down? I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Hmm. Vielleicht äh, selbst Köder spielen. Ein Radio vielleicht. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. 
Hmm. I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? Gallows Creek's best and only late night Colin show. Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Don't be a Ponty, Forrest. That's low. Will you idiots focus now? His portable radio should still be here. It should be here in the archives, actually. Let me just take a peek around. Great job, Forrest. Looks like you picked the perfect place. Yep, genau wie geplant. Warten wir mit den Glückwünschen. Yep, that was a hundred percent just me thinking ahead. Exactly as planned. I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Okay, sehr gut. The radio works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. Was? If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. But after your earlier self-advertisement, Nash, I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Wo wir ihn hinschicken sollen. Hm. Ähm. <lacht> er ist in einem normalen Archiv. Das heißt, der Killer sollte wahrscheinlich in die Küche. Oder warte mal. Ferenzraum wäre vielleicht nicht schlecht. Ja, weil da war der Killer, glaube ich, noch nicht. Moment, wo ich vorher in Konferenzraum war, da war der Killer da noch gar nicht. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Yo. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. Okay. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Hmm, ich imitiere Mr. Russell. Ich täusche einen Ratschlag vor. Ich nenne den Pfeifer eine Pfeife. I'll just call the whistling man a jackass. <laughs> That'll get his attention. That's the plan, right? <laughs> sure is. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I... Uh, uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Hmm. Verstecken Sie es unter dem Schreibtisch. Verstecken Sie es im Schrank. Verstecken Sie es im, Geheim im Geheimarchiv. Oder verstecken Sie sich in den Arbeitskabinen. Arbeitskabinen sind verdammt weit weg. Geheimarchiv wird er sowieso reinkommen. Das heißt, 
Er muss sich im Prinzip dort. Ja, er kommt sowieso dorthin in Geheimarchiv, wenn das Radio losgeht, denn würde ich sagen, eben, wo der gerade ist, in der Küche, glaube ich, oder im normalen Archiv, im Schrank. Wie er gesagt hat, unter dem Schreibtisch kann man einen leicht schnell sehen, deswegen würde ich sagen, im Schrank, definitiv im Schrank. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Okay. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Okay. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. You think you're something special, huh? Well, guess what, pal? You got another thing coming. Here comes. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in. See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the whistling man. <laughs> Forrest, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! If I'm being honest, I can't believe it either. Thank oh, God, it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. Oh, game over. Moise Wassel überlebende Pfeiffer. Geil. Habe ich eine Errungenschaft bekommen. Okay, dann würde ich sagen. Speichern wir, ja? Und. Sehen uns in den Fall. In der nächsten Folge wieder, Leute. Wenn es heißt, Let's Play Killer. Frequency. Jo. Und wenn euch das Video gefallen hat, gebt dem Video gerne einen Daumen nach oben da. Und wenn ihr nichts verpassen wollt, könnt ihr auch gerne abonnieren. Da verpasst ihr auch wirklich nichts mehr. Und ja, ich bin dann erstmal raus, Leute. Bis dann. Euer Akumisi 21. Yeah.